T-minus nine minutes and counting. And the ground launch sequencer has been initiated. T-minus eight minutes, 30 seconds and counting. All systems continuing to be in good shape for launch this morning. TLTOCC, configure fuel cell essential bus door switches. Well, I'll put that in work. Uh, the essential bus switches are all on. Pilot Horowitz just uh, configured the orbiter's crew cabin uh, to flip the switches to directly connect the three fuel cells to the essential power buses on the vehicle. Just a few seconds, the orbiter access arm will be attracted away from the orbiter's crew module, and uh, that event is happening. The arm can be re-extended in just a few seconds if necessary. T minus seven minutes and counting. The orbiter test conductor will be given Pilot Horowitz at go to perform auxiliary power unit pre-start in just a few seconds. Recorders are running. Copy that. PLTOCC perform APU pre-start. Okay. Doing APU pre-start. The auxiliary power units will actually be started at about the T minus five minute point. T minus five minutes, 30 seconds and counting. All continuing to be very well for the launch today. No issues, it's very quiet here in the firing room. Weather is still a go. T minus five minutes and counting. Let's go for orbiter APU start. PLT OTC, perform APU start. Crank and APU. And CDR OTC, reconfigure heaters. Here, reconfigure one. And the auxiliary power units are configured for launch. Coming up on a final purge of the main engines. The main engine valves are being opened to prepare for start.
T minus four minutes and counting. And a profile test of the orbiter's aerosurfaces has started. These are being moved through a pre-programmed pattern to verify that they are ready for launch. T minus three minutes, 30 seconds and counting. The three main en engines are being gimbaled and positioned for launch. All systems are go for launch at this time, just a few minutes away from the 22nd voyage of Discovery with a crew of seven. T minus three minutes and counting to the launch of Discovery on mission STS-82. Now pressurizing the external tank for flight. TLTOTC, clear caution and warning memory. Verify no unexpected errors. No unexpected errors, and clearing. And the gaseous oxygen uh, vent hood. Uh, heater reconfigured complete. Copy that. The gaseous oxygen vent hood at the top of the tank is being retracted away at this time. Every OTC, close and lock your visors. Initiate O2 flow. And we wish you all a fantastic voyage. Good luck, gentlemen. All right, Bruce. Thanks a lot. T minus two minutes and counting. Seven member crew is about to embark on the second of five missions to service the Hubble Space Telescope. All systems aboard Discovery are go. Discovery will be launched on an easterly trajectory on an orbit inclined 28.45 degrees to the equator. Less than two minutes away now from the launch. Discovery's launch marks the 16th night launch. One minute, 30 seconds. We have an indication that the three main engines are ready for launch. Coming up very shortly at the T minus one minute mark. T minus one minute. At the T minus 31 second mark, Discovery's onboard computers will have control of vehicle functions. T-minus 35 seconds. Yeah, go for auto sequence start. T-minus 25 seconds. 20. T-minus 15 seconds and counting. All systems go. T-minus 10, 9, Eight, start. seven, we have a go for engine start. Five, four, three, two, one. Ignition and liftoff. Discovery now on its way to service NASA's Hubble Space Telescope. Houston now controlling. We're all programmed, Houston. Roger roll, Discovery. Roll maneuver is complete aboard Discovery. The vehicle's now in a heads-down position on course for a 28.5 degree, 309 nautical mile orbit. Discovery already uh, one, one and a half miles in altitude and downrange from the launch site, uh, one and a half miles as well. Three main engines uh, beginning to throttle down now as the orbiter prepares to pass through the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere. The three engines now at 67% of rated thrust. The 
The engine's now beginning to throttle back up. Discovery, go ahead, throttle up. Go ahead, throttle up. The three liquid-fueled engines are now back at full throttle. Discovery's altitude is 13 miles, downrange from the launch site, 10 and a half miles. Now traveling 1,800 miles per hour. The three good uh, electrical systems or fuel cells and hydraulic systems providing the hydraulic power to the orbiter's uh, engines. Solid rocket boosters beginning to uh, tail off with their chamber pressure, standing by for burnout and separation of the uh, twin solid rocket boosters. SRB separation is confirmed. Two minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Discovery is now downrange from the launch site of 40 miles. At an altitude of 35 miles. Performance nominal. 